For the second time this season, the Audi FIS World Cup downhill tour was delayed. Pictures here in Lake Louise showing way too much snow to get the first of the scheduled three races away. Not enough snow in Zermatt, Switzerland earlier this month. Marcus Waldner and his team having no choice but to delay the downhill by 24 hours. The Women's World Cup Tour was racing two tech competitions in Killington, Vermont. Giant Slalom first, Slalom second, and the 2021 Giant Slalom World Champion was to take centre stage over the two runs. Lara Gutbarami, now at 31 years of age, waited six years since her last World Cup Giant Slalom victory in Soldom to record her fifth win in this discipline today, taking her career total to 35, top of the table over the two legs. Great news to see Marta Bassino back to form. The 2019 winner here in Killington was to put two very smooth and solid runs together to claim second position. The 2021 World Cup Giant Slalom champion hunting the globe once again. And the Olympic giant slalom champion from Sweden, Sara Hector, was to take third spot on the podium after showing good early season slalom form, her first podium in her favoured GS. Top of the table for Gut Barami in the first GS of the season. I'm really happy. I mean, uh, as you said, the last two years uh, I've been getting better in GS again. I won the title, but I was improving my GS every race. Um, last year I was struggling with my health. I was all the time sick. Guparami, Bassino and Hector, the 1-2-3 in giant slalom number one of 10. Late Louise and 24 hours of waiting, the weather is cleared and the first downhill of the season is ready to get underway. And it was the perfect start for Alexander Ormot Kilda, the defending champion. 13 races here in Late Louise and never close to the podium until the season opener where Kilda put down an electrifying performance. Aggressive on the upper section, smooth and calm on the lower to take the win in Canada. The big surprise came from the Austrian camp and their newcomer, Daniel Hemitsberger. Six one hundredths of a second off the pace to record his second career podium so close to the Norwegian. And Marco Odomat, like Kilda, had had very little luck on the Lakewood Louise racetrack. Third position for Odomat and another perfect start to his downhill campaign, having won the opening GS of the Tour. So Kilda takes the first downhill of 12, Hemitsberger second, Odomat third. A brilliant result from the Norwegian to take the first speed race of the season. Day two in Killington, Vermont, and the fans had come in their thousands to see if Michaela Schifrin could record her 50th World Cup slalom win. But it was Switzerland and Sweden that stole the show on slalom day. Wendy Holdener, 30 World Cup slalom podiums, but never a victory. And finally, she gets to the top of the standings. 15 times second, 15 times third. Today was the day that she had worked so hard for in difficult conditions in Killington, USA. She thought she'd done enough to win it all by herself until Anna Sven Larsen, who had been on the podium six times in her career and another racer, never a winner on the women's slalom tour until today. Aggressive in the rain-soaked snow, Sven Larsen pushed for the line, equaling the time of Holdener for a tie for top position. And the Austrian, Katarina Truppe, with a very strong second-run charge, was to record her third career podium of her career and taking third spot on the standings. The big story of the day never unfolded. Michaela Schifrin looks, looked that little nervous and will have to wait for the next slalom on the tour to try and hit that magic 50 in slalom victories. Fifth position for Schifrin. Sven Larsen and Holden a tie for first position. Schifrin, top of the table in the standings. I'm so happy and um, I, am, I have a lot of emotions. It's a dream come true and I fight that really hard for this one, so... 
I'm super happy. <laughs> yeah, for me, I, I gave it all. And to be tied first when I came into the finish was such a relief. And on the end, it's perfect. So now we can share our first win together. <laughs> A great story in Killington, tied for first position, Sven Larsson and Holdener for Sweden and Switzerland. And the last race of the weekend, the first Super G of the men's tour in Lake Louise, Canada. And this time, Odomat was out for revenge after yesterday's third position in the downhill. A spectacular performance from the 25-year-old Swiss racer to record his fifth World Cup Super G victory and to record it in style. Kilda tried everything to stop Odomat, but just didn't have the pace today. Kilda still happy to go second in the opening Super G of the season as the defending champion. And the Olympic Super G champion, Matthias Meyer of Austria, found his first speed podium of 2023 by claiming third position. Odomat wins the first Super G of the tour and goes 80 points clear at the top of the overall standings. The women head to Lake Louise, the men head to Beaver Creek, Colorado.